think that last piece really stole his car, I just realized. Torismo. This is El Burro of the Diablos. You are new in Liberty, but already you are gaining a reputation on the streets. There is a street race starting by the old school hall near the Callahan Bridge. Get yourself some wheels and first through all the checkpoints wins the prize. Uh, if I don't go the wrong way straight at the start this time, I think I'll be okay. Yeah, stop changing my radio station, man. Uh, yes. Uh, why are you calling in today? I'm an old man. I want to listen to talk back right here. <laughs> uh, if you swear again, we're going to have to cut you off. This is a family show. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm just a little unhappy. I've been agitated. Really? It's my mom. She don't think I'm a real man. Can you, can you imagine that? I mean, I do a man's job and all, but she treats me like a little boy. Oh, like oh. your pawn is and your pawn is. Well, Tony. Tony? How'd you know my name was Tony? You're tracing this call? Because if you are, you're gonna get real intimately acquainted with what your brains look like. My name ain't Tony. Okay? Uh, okay. He literally just said his name. She keeps going, Tony, Tony, be a real man. Stand up for yourself. Don't take no shit. But all I do is to be a good son. And I want her to show that she cares for me. Show that she loves me. And you know, say I was a good kid. What is with the physics sir, now? In life, we have a lot of obligations. We just kind of have to face up to them. And right now, I'm obligated to play some commercial announcements. We'll be back right after this. We've got a new friend for everyone. He's got fur and a tail. He gets in lots of trouble, but he's a bouncy little fellow because he's got springs for legs. Pogo the monkey, the best new video game for the whole family. I love you, Pogo. You bounce. Help Pogo you bounce. Is research laboratory where the mean old scientist genetically altered him. Uh oh, the pharmaceutical scientist is going to get you, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a gold coin. Good thing Pogo has a banana cannon. Those nasty scientists deserve to die. Now get the shampoo manufacturers before they squirt it in your eye. Why did they never make a Pogo the Monkey video game? In real life. Pogo through tons of fun adventures, including saving Timmy, who fell down the well. Here you go, Pogo. Have a big watch. Rescue a cat out of that tree with your banana cannon, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a fast car. And help Pogo to his final mission. To storm the White House with his friends and become President of the United States. Pogo the Monkey is the game kids are sure to stare at for hours. Everyone <laughs> loves Pogo. Idiot Gamer called Pogo the best spring and simian game since Bouncing Bananas. Buy the game Pogo the Monkey today. Right, Pogo? And coming soon, Pogo the Monkey card game. Pogo the Monkey plastic dolls. Pogo the Monkey gold covers. And Pogo the Monkey car covers. For the dad who has everything, uh, why not Pogo the Monkey sports jacket? For the lady in your life, why not Pogo the Monkey chocolates and hygiene products when she smells like a real monkey? And for kids, a life-size, living, breathing, springing monkey. All available at PogoTheMonkey.com. All right, Liberty City, this is your talk radio show, Chatterbox, where your opinion matters. Let's go to the phones. Hello, caller, you're on Chatterbox. Hey, you ever had possum? Good eat. No, I really can't say I have. Well, you will try it sometimes. I tell you, man, it's good eat. Possum. Possum. Raccoon. Eat super meat. It's pretty good. Uh, do you have anything else to say, or? Pigeons. Pigeons are good, too. Sometimes they come with notes attached, just like a fortune cookie with wings. <laughs> Squirrels. Squirrels, not so good. They taste like goldfish. Meat real stringy. You know what I mean? Um, actually, I can't say that I do. Um, but, but if I did eat too much squirrel... Nice. Uh, and I just couldn't keep those extra t Oh, nice. The subscribers are going through a lot quicker than they used to when they first started on YouTube. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Alright, just the guy I need to talk to. 
All right, there's a car stuffed with a stiff at the cafe near Callahan Point. One of the Ferrellis thought he was a wise guy, so he got what he had coming to him. Take the corpse to the crusher in Harwood, all right? So this was back when, like, people just accepted that fetch quests were an entire game. <laughs> and my car's, um, my car's a little bit worse for wear. And sleep your way to a thinner, happier you. I'm a marketing manager who lives in the suburbs and commutes to work on the highway. I live alone, so of course I needed a car that could seat 12 and is equipped to drive across Arctic Tundra. It just makes me feel better. The new my Batsu monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Oh, well, that's a good commercial. I, I love commercials, don't you? This is Chatterbox. We are uh, taking your calls right now. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hi, Lazlo. Is that your real name? Huh? Of course it's my real name. Are you Hungarian? Uh, no, I'm from upstate. Are you sure that's not a fake radio name? There is a stiff in the trunk. Crap. Got to go to the crusher. Okay, here's the deal. I mean, they keep hitting the rear end, he's gonna get crushed either way. That's on later. No. He got taken off the air. He lied, I know he did. I've been trying to make a hybrid of a peach and a Pekingese midget fight bitch for the last two years. And it is impossible. Impossible, I tell you. Okay, and speaking of impossible, Jane from Cedar Grove is on the line, and she wants to talk about how difficult it is being a parent today. Hello, Jane. Hi, Laszlo. I love the show. I'm a first-time caller. I wanted to say something about these video games. They are warping our kids' minds. My son's dog, Hugo, got hit by a truck, and he said, Mommy, Mommy, there's a reset button. Kids these days, they think life is gay. It's the reset button. It is very, very serious. I let my kids play video games, and now runs around the house looking for gold coins. This is teaching our children to go chase money. My little fans are playing this new video game called Pogo the Monkey. Yeah, I've heard of that one. The shop teacher called today, and Sam made a homemade banana cannon in shop class and was lobbing them across the street at a fast food restaurant. I don't have any guns. City's premier bowling alley. I'm 